free. Teaching your dog a weight command for when they eat meals is not only good for safety so that they don't eat anything that they shouldn't be eating, but it's also very good impulse control to teach your dog how to wait for things and not just immediately scarf them down until you say so. Are you ready to show them? This is something you're going to want to put into your everyday routine every time they eat. So before every meal, get them a little bit more calmer and then ask them to wait before you feed them. So right before you set the bowl down, you're going to want to ask them to wait. You just want to implement this into everyday things so it becomes like a normal thing for them to wait to eat something until you say that they can. So just like when you teach a leave it command, I take one treat in this hand and one treat in this one. This is going to be my release word treat. I'm going to introduce the treat right in front of his face and say, wait, if he tries to take the treat, I'm gonna close my hand and move it away. Wait. <laughs> wait. And once he starts not trying to take this treat out of my hand, I'm gonna take my rewarding treat free and give it straight to him from my other hand. I like to use two hands with this because I feel like it helps them understand the release word a little bit better. Wait. Free. Good job. You want to really practice with this until they're starting to understand that free means they can have it. Wait. Free. And then you can start to move up to giving them the treat that's in this hand. Once they're getting it with the treat in your hand, I move on to introducing a bowl and I just put a few treats in that bowl and I do the same thing. I put this bowl right in front of their face and I say, wait, and if he tries to take them out of this bowl, I move it away. Wait. Free. And then I let him have the treats out of the bowl. I worked on this with him for a while with me holding the bowl. So it was up at eye level with him so he could start to understand that this is the same thing as with the hands. You want to practice this a lot with them. This is a lot of impulse control for a dog and some dogs are going to struggle more than others. Take your time, do just a few treats first before you're trying to introduce full meals and keep doing it just a little bit at a time. Wait. Watch me, free, good job. Once he got the hang of it with me holding the bowl, I started to put the bowl right next to him with him laying down with just a few treats in there and having him wait. You are gonna wanna say wait when you introduce this to them. I don't have to just because this is an automatic thing. After you practice this for so long, it's just gonna become automatic for him to not eat his food until you say so. Free. Free. Once your dog's understanding it with treats, I move on to a bit of their meal. So I do like a quarter or a half of their meal at first, just because that's a lot of impulse control to ask for with the whole meal. Wait. You won't have to say wait forever, especially if you're using this every time they eat. It will become an automatic thing. But at the beginning, you really do want to incorporate that verbal command. I ask my dogs to give me eye contact before they can eat, which is why he's looking at me. But that's up to you if you want eye contact or if you just want your dog to wait. Free. And if you keep up with this, before you know it, you'll have a dog with great impulse control. Free.